penetrating to the solar muscle, it would have been a solar sepsis. So this is how in ultrasound we, we <coughs> exclude pathologies one by one in a very systematic way. This is the area of pathology and see that it is absolutely separate from the, it does not relate to the muscle posteriorly. This is the muscle. This, this is the muscle line. This is the source major muscle. And here you see a cystic area full of internal echoes in the region of the <coughs> lower pole of the left right kidney. This is the right kidney and this is the eco-filled cystic area. With a different, this how, okay. There can be one other differential and that can be a dilated callus. The, a dilated callus or a hydronephrosis of the lower pole calyx. But in that case, there should have been uh, the evidence of uh, other calluses being involved as well. And uh, the proximal ureter would have been possibly also dilated. So this is now in transfer section. This is the transfer section and you can see the renal vein entering the kidney. There lies the gallbladder. This is the gallbladder. Little bit of image optimization. So we retain our possibilities of differential as if you have no dependent vision equals can be seen and here you can also see two very important things this shadow this shadow this bright shadow is acoustic enhancement which is typical and mainly seen in cystic regions so this is a well demarcated cystic area full of low level echoes. This is the cystic area, low level echoes. It's very well demarcated, giving posterior wall enhancement or acoustic enhancement with irregular outer surface, thick wall. This is the wall and is relating to the lower pole of the right kidney. Upper lie, anteriorly lies the liver and this is the long axis of the right kidney. Now you know cystic areas usually do not change their shape. <coughs> 